If I study you, then part of my observation is you studying me, studying you. Alright, gentlemen, when you're ready, load up. You're in time. Bye. Formal rituals are the most economic means of imposing social order. The harnessing of potentially dangerous but creative acts revitalizes the system. In a society dominated by males, it encourages a spirit of masculinity. But there are, in fact, 24 girls in the school. In such a male atmosphere, what happens to girl dragons, generally known as hags? The boys know you and you know the boys. And when you're older, it's just like having a brother or sister. I don't think I do get treated differently, at least I hope I don't, because otherwise I don't think it's very fair. If a girl comes to a boys' school, she ought to be expected to be treated the same as a boy. Constraints can be placed inside a pupil. He may resist. He may accept totally. The psychologist would say, inhibit the expression of his feelings. He may feel vaguely uneasy, but decide to accept. I don't think I really dislike anything in particular I can think of. Is that important? I, uh, I, um, I, I really don't know, actually. I, I think it's a very good school. I can't, I can't think of anything right offhand. There are things. I think there is slightly yes. too big an emphasis on competition all round. I mean, you all, you're all separated for every subject, but yeah, every subject, games and everything. I think there's too much competition. Basically, parents send their children to us uh, in order to get them into public schools. I think really that's the basic thing. Even today, with the slight changes in values, I do think the word sir can do a lot of good in the world, or just respect. In this school, which is still run, although we do have quite a number of very good female staff, it is a, a school run by males for males. Right, come on, then you come. Now, are you going to have tea or milk? Tea, please. There you are. Tea? Yes, please. That's it, sure. There you are. Carry on. Help yourself some sandwiches. Yeah, now, this is the, the birthday tea, which we hold uh, in school house about once a month for the boarders in the senior houses. It's a fairly informal occasion. They come in and have a cup of tea and help themselves to the sandwiches. And then we, we cut the cake and discuss birthdays and any other matters generally. I like to think it's a sort of touch of home coming sometime during a term, which uh, they enjoy and it gives me a chance to meet some of them whom possibly I haven't seen uh, much of during the term. And what, uh, what did you get for your birthday? Um, a dog. A dog? A live dog? Yeah. <laughs> you brought him back here? No. Not a jest. What make is he? Sheltie. A Sheltie? I would have thought that we try to give them a sense of self-discipline and self-identity and expect them to think a great deal for themselves. There is obviously a certain amount of imposed discipline, but as little as possible. And the rest, I think, we try to make them produce for themselves. At the same time, they do have a chance here, surely, to live in a family. 
because it's a family atmosphere that we try to produce in this school, within the houses. I think this is it, that, I mean, we're all about practically all the time. And this probably helps. In some ways, they maybe do better here than they do in their own family, because we are geared to be about all the time. Whereas in families these days, with father out all day and mother jolly busy, perhaps they're, they're getting something there that they don't necessarily get in yet at home. And a fair number of boys here, after all, come from families that cannot look after their own children. They're in the United States of America. They're in wherever we have the army now which is a remarkably small area, but wherever we have the army. We have army people, we have service people, various... Yes, it does have... give them, them a stable background, I think. It gives them a stable background. Instead of being shunted from one school to another, bang, 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 they can come to one place, which is their home. And not so very long ago, a boy said, in this school, this is my home for eight months in the year. Um, I think it's a very well-known school, and it's be pretty proud to be at this. And there's a lot of people, and you can get a lot of friends. There's a very sort of homey attitude here, which is very nice. Yeah. You feel grateful, I think, that you've been, yeah. that you have been a dragon, yeah. and that you are a dragon. And um, when you're asked what you think of it, you give your opinion, and people think that it's quite a good school, and um, um, you get you get many sort of friends who want to go to the school but they don't have the sort of opportunities which you no. do. Yeah, a lot of ODs, you know, well, fathers are sending their sons to this school. Uh, it's very sort of social and uh, sort of very close, masters and boys. Pretty free school. Yeah. <laughs> In class it's a bit, you know, they let you get away with a bit but after that, they stop you. When I first <laughs> arrived, I was sort of stopped in my tracks and moved back. It was a sudden sort of change. Mm -hmm. I was in a form called Lower Two, and the prospects for me were either to go up to a form called Middle Two with a master known as Boggy, who was... Um, <laughs> he was well, a dangerous yeah. master. Yes, but he was very kind. He was, he was, he he was, he was very kind, nice. but, but, but as a... Him being quite tall when you're very, when you're just a, a younger boy in the school, and you feel every time you go by him, you seem to shudder because you mm. think he's so terrible because you just don't know him. And then after a while, I guess you get used to him, but before, for a long time, before you're actually in his form, it's not very easy. And you, begin, you begin to realise when he's, when he's getting angry and when he's in a good mood by the way he comes in or what he does, whether he slides mm. his feet or not or something like that you realise how far you can go. Uh, they change as they as you go up the school. They start off being very nice and they... Yes, they start get harder. Yeah. treating yeah. you more yeah. grown up. Yeah. When you get yes. humorous masters, yeah. you find that you can get on with them much better. Yes, but you, you, mustn't take, you, mustn't, you mustn't take, you know, take, take it, it too far. far.